gold has bounced off $1,700 twice this week, although it remained down on the week by Friday afternoon in London. Friday's PM London gold fix was $1,716, down 1.2% from last Friday, and the third consecutive weekly loss. Friday's silver fix, meanwhile, was $31.67, a 2% weekly drop. Gold in euros, meanwhile, was up on the week, trading around 1,326 euros an ounce at the time of Friday's PM fix. Gold in sterling, by contrast, was down, having earlier fallen to its lowest level since August, a day after the official scheduled release of UK economic growth data sparked a rally for the pound. Both the US and the UK published better than expected GDP figures this week. US markets opened with a bit of a lift on Friday after news that the US economy grew at an annualised rate of 2% in the third quarter. A day earlier, the first estimate of UK GDP showed Q3 growth was 1%, although some of this was likely down to the Olympics. It is far too early to say whether these GDP figures are a sign of brighter times ahead. Britain remains heavily exposed to the mess in the Eurozone, while the US faces the spectre of the so-called fiscal cliff at the start of next year, when spending cuts and tax hikes are currently due to come into effect. We've got to get through the presidential election before all that, though. This week's Federal Reserve policy meeting was a bit of a non-event. The Fed repeated its commitment to buy $40 billion of mortgage-backed securities each month to support a stronger recovery. This should be supportive for gold, too, over the longer term. Although policy announcements grab the headlines and trigger the big market moves, the steady and quiet rise in liquidity levels has been a big factor in sustaining gold's bull market over the last decade. In other news this week, it was reported that the Bundesbank will ship some of its gold held at the New York Fed back to Germany for inspection, after German federal auditors said it should be regularly inspecting foreign-held gold. According to some reports, the gold in New York has not been expected for over three decades. To keep up with the latest in gold and silver, visit goldnews.bullionvault.com.